thank you, Stoll. So our next presenter is Dr. Shuang Wang. Um, Dr. Wang is a postdoctoral fellow in the UCSD Division of Biomedical Informatics. Uh, he's currently working on genome data compression research and will be presenting some of his results today. Hello, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you developing novel tools for efficient compression of genomic data. I'm Shuang Wang. Uh, here is the outline of today's presentation. We will start from a brief introduction of genomic data compression. Uh, then I will introduce you to normal genomic data compression tools proposed by our team. The first is named DNA Compact, which stands for Compression Based on a Pattern Aware Contextual Modeling Technique. This is a tool designed for genome assembly data compression. And the second, in the second, I will introduce the Hugo tools. This is a hierarchical multi-reference genome compression, which is designed for aligned salt rate file compression. Finally, I will draw the conclusion and uh, discuss our future work. A human genome consists of 3.2 billion base pairs, which usually requires a large uh, storage space and uh, impose many difficulty for efficient genomic data sharing. However, the differences among human genomes are only around 0.1 percent, uh, which give us some hope to reduce the size of human genome by removing those redundancy. Um, there are many existing popular projects specialized in genome research, such as Van Sorgen Genome uh, Personal Genome Project. Um, those projects contribute the quick increase of the uh, number of sequences. Uh, for example, by June 2013, the Sequence Read Archive has uh, hosted more than 1,300 terabyte uh, genome data. Um, as shown by Scott King in his 2011 science paper, uh, the amount of sequence output doubles every nine, nine months. It has overtaken the performance impro improvement of uh, disk storage and the high performance computing capability. Therefore, it is imperative for us to develop uh, novel genome compression tools for efficient storage and uh, sharing such a large amount of genomic data. BaseSpace is another genome data repository hosted by Illumina for performing genome cloud computing. BaseSpace enables the raw data being sequenced automatically transferred from sequencer to the cloud in real time. Uh, base space also provides many apps for workflow management, data analysis, visualization, and annotation in the cloud. Uh, however, for the data storage in base space, uh, although the first one terabyte is free for user, Illumina will charge about $2,000 or $12,000 for additional one or 10 terabyte respectively. Uh, as the storage cost in base space is significant, it would be a big saving for users if we are able to compress those genomic data efficiently. Uh, here is the life cycle diagram of sequencing data. Uh, from the sequencer, we can generate a salt rate file in FASTQ format. Uh, in FASTQ format, we have sequence ID, row sequence rate, and some quality values, as shown in this example. Uh, by aligning salt rate against the reference, we can generate aligned salt rate in SAM file or BAM file. BAM file is a binary format of SAM file. In a SAM file, um, each alignment line has 11 mandatory fields for essential uh, alignment information and the sub-optional field. Uh, finally, by using annotation and the sequence assembly, one can generate VCF and FASTA format for genomic analysis. Here, VCF is used by Van Sorgen Genome Project to encode SNPs and other structural genetic variants. Um, moreover, sequence assembly is to assemble or merge salt rate in order to reconstruct the original flan sequence. Uh, in this presentation, uh, we will focus on the compression of the SIM format and the uh, fast A format for aligned salt rate and uh, sequence assembly data, respectively. 
Uh, we will first introduce the DNA compact tools for genome assembly data compression. This is a joint work with the following people. And uh, this paper uh, is submitted to PLOS1 and uh, is currently under minor revision. Uh, the proposed framework can handle the compression of genome assembly data with and without reference, which correspond to uh, compact no reference and compact reference. Um, the proposed uh, comp uh, compression framework contains two steps. In the first step, compact no reference remove the redundancy by searching self-repeat. In contracts, in compact reference, we found repeat within a reference. Both compact no reference and reference share the same second step here. Uh, in the second step, the remaining encoded sequence will be further compressed through a, contact, a contextual model-based entropy encoder. Uh, for the first step in the compact no reference, the algorithm tries to search the longest match between uncompressed and compressed sequence within a search window. The algorithm only re replace the repeat with a sufficient length so that the information used to represent repeat is always less than that of the original repeat sequence, which can result in uh, efficient compression. The repeat is re replaced by a compact quadruplet representation with a substitution ID of like, and a matching type indicate a perfect or a complementary match, and the offset P and the matching length M uh, it is straightforward for the case with reference, where the longest mismatch uh, repeat is found within a search window in the reference sequence. After first pass, the remaining encoded sequence will be further compressed through entropy coding in the second pass. And uh, the compression performance in the second pass depends on how accurate the algorithm can predict the symbol to be compressed. In our model, the prediction accuracy is improved through combining the prediction of multiple contextual models in logistic regression. Uh, in our study, we consider both sequential and non-sequential models to capture the trend in DNA sequence. A sequential contextual model with order D assumes that the symbol to be compressed depends on its previous D number of consecutive neighbors. Um, in this example, for the symbol YT, the sequential context with order 9 is indicated by, uh, by this red box. In contrast, non-sequential contextual model means that the context of the symbol to be compressed is not consecutive, which is usually the case in DNA sequence. In this example, a non-sequential model with order D is depicted in the red box. The non-sequential context is TTGT for the symbol to be uh, compressed. Since there are too many sequential and uh, non-sequential models in practice to balance the complexity and the performance, the proposed algorithm sample 11 sequential and 11 non-sequential uh, contextual model for total 22 models with some constraints. Uh, finally, the logistic regression is used to synthesize those probability inferred from different contextual models. Finally, an uh, entropy encoder is used to compress the symbol based on the combined probability. Uh, we first compare the com compression performance and the complexity of the proposed compact no reference with two state-of-the-art no reference-based algorithm, XM and uh, FCM. Uh, the table depicts the compression result on five bacteria sequence with 10 million or more bases. Uh, in DNA sequence, there are ATGC for different bases. Therefore, it takes two bits to represent each base without compression. Uh, we can see the DNA compact no reference algorithm achieved the best compression performance in terms of bits per base we can achieve about uh, 1.72 bits per base. Although the cost of <laughs> our algorithm has a longer encoding time, which is measured in seconds, this is because the 
uh, in our algorithm, we use a combination of higher order sequential and uh, non sequential model. Uh, the compression of human genome assembly data of uh, Korean people using another Korean people as reference are uh, shown in this slide. Uh, there, the performance of the proposed uh, compact reference are compared with two state of art reference based algorithm, uh, GIS and Green, in terms of compression ratio and execution time in second. Uh, in the first figure, we can see that the proposed method achieve a higher compression ratio for most the chromosomes. Although it has has a higher <coughs> encoding time as shown in the yellow bar in the second figure. But it is worth mentioning that the encoding time of the proposed algorithm as shown in this uh, dark right bar is comparable with that of green algorithm, where the green algorithm has a green algorithm has the same encoding and the decoding capacity as shown in the light, light brain bar. Uh, now I will introduce the Hugo tools for compression of aligned salt rate inside our BAM file with multiple references. The, this paper is submitted to Jamian and which is under first revision now. Um, the input of Hugo framework can be a BAM file, <coughs> which will be filter, uh, which will be first converted into SAM file. In a SAM file, there are eleven mandatory fields, and with some optional fields. Since the data in sequence <coughs> field and the quality value field, this is the field ten and the eleven, dominates the size of SAM file. We mainly focus on the compression of those fields in this presentation. For the remaining field, we will compress those uh, fields through a regular entropy coding method, as indicated in this uh, green box, such as the delta coding, Hoffman coding, and so on. So the idea to compress a sequence field in Hugo are based on the adaptive rate sorting and the multi-reference mapping scheme. Uh, the reason why uh, compression performance of multi-reference based algorithm may outperform that of single reference based algorithm are as follows. For the given genome sequence, different reference may provide different coverage as shown in this left hand side figure. Uh, here the different coverage means not only the percentage of exact match in different reference may be different but also the exact match in different reference may come from different sequence rate that to be compressed. Uh, therefore, so by combining multiple reference, we can find a better perfect match rate for the given target sequence. Therefore, so we can achieve a better compression performance. Another intuitive example is that, as shown in the right-hand side figure, um, the genome of a uh, child is inherited from his or her parents. If we can make full use of his or her parents' genome as reference instead of only one of them, uh, we will expect a much higher exact match rate. Therefore, we can achieve a better compression performance. Here's a detailed example of the proposed framework. Let us denote uh, EMR, IMR, UMR as exact match mapped, uh, inexact mapped with uh, less than four mismatch and unmapped rate with more than four mismatch, respectively. Uh, in this example, we use uh, HG96 chromosome 11 as a, a input, reference, uh, input sequence, and we align this input sequence against the reference HG19. And at the first iteration, uh, we can see there are about 28% uh, IMR or UMRs with the sequence length of 100. So in the second iteration, we first reduce the length of all IMR or UMRs uh, to 50 by splitting the original uh, input sequence to two parts from 100 to 50 and align them against uh, two different references, HG90 and uh, HU. REF. And uh, in the second part, we can see uh, 
by using the reference HURF, we can achieve a higher uh, EMR rate. So the Hugo Codex will pick the HU reference as the batch ref reference in the second iteration. Uh, following the same procedure in the remaining iteration, uh, finally, we can reduce the percentage of IMR or UMR down to 0.01%. Uh, in Hugo, we use uh, SOAP3 as our mapping tools, as it offers ultra-fast mapping throughput by taking the advantage of G GPU computing because we need multiple alignment. The compression of all EMR, IMR, UMR in Hugo are similar with the previous DNA compact algorithm. And for the quality value, we introduced a uh, lossy compression option by using k-min clustering method to dynamic build codebook for quality value quantization. Um, this slide illustrates the trade-off between compression performance using k-min clustering-based uh, quantization and the quantization error in terms of mean absolute percentage error, sort for MAP, uh, where MAP is defined as follows. Uh, when k is equal to 55, it's equivalent to a lossless compression scheme without quantization because there are 51 unique quality value in some file. And we can see that when we take a k equal to 5, we can achieve about 50% uh, file size reduction from the original 150 megabytes to uh, about 60 megabytes and with the cost of uh, increase the MAP from zero to 27. And uh, in our experiment, the following says six sequence are used in this presentation for our evaluation. Uh, in this slide, we compare the compression performance among existing compression algorithms, such as BZIP2, CRIME, SAMCAM, and uh, the proposed uh, Hugo Lossless and uh, Lossy setup with single reference in this slide. The Hugo L with the number uh, indicates that we are using a K mean uh, clustering based on Lossy compression scheme with K equal to this number. Uh, for uh, In this uh, slide, we can see for all inputs, uh, BZIP2 shows the worst compression performance. And this is because BZIP2 is not designed for genome data compression. And uh, when comparing with a uh, crime algorithm, um, the proposed uh, Hugo Oslis can achieve about 6% to 15% uh, space saving at the same compression mode. And the uh, same time, is a lossy compression algorithm which only preserve identifier uh, sequence and the quality value in the same file. Uh, we can see the Hugo lossy framework can achieve a similar or even better uh, com uh, compression performance than that of same camp in different setup, but our framework can preserve all 12 fields in the same file. Uh, in this slide, we present a comparison performance of Hugo with two references. Uh, we can see that the performance of Hugo with multi-reference always perform, outperform that of Hugo with single reference. Uh, moreover, the performance of both Hugo setup are better than crime algorithm due to the use of adapti adaptive uh, rate line sorting and multi-reference alignment scheme. Uh, although the Propose a Hugo a scheme achieve a better compression performance. It is worth mentioning that the compression time uh, is increased by about 50% to 90% when compared with crime algorithm. This is because we are using um, multiple reference alignment. And additionally, the maximum memory use for compression in Hugo is two times larger than that in crime as showing in the first figure here. And uh, in contrast, the decompression memory use of Hugo is much less than crime as showing in the second figure. Uh, the right bar corresponds to Hugo and the blue bar corresponds to the crime. 
Uh, this is because there's no alignment needed at a decoder in Hugo. This is good news for Hugo, as encoding is usually a one-time job, but decoding may perform multiple times by users. And uh, here is our conclusion. Uh, we developed a uh, two-step uh, DNA compact tools for genome assembly data compression. We propose a uh, Hugo tools for online salt rate data compression with multi-reference, and the experimental result shows a better compression performance of both uh, proposed uh, DNA com uh, compression scheme when compared with uh, existing the state-of-the-art algorithm. And uh, in our future work, we try to develop compression tools for salt rate in FASTQ format, our VCM format, and improve the encoding decoding speed, start a new algorithm to improve the compression performance, and uh, design compression algorithm for family-based uh, genome data via the reference from family member. And uh, this project is a teamwork with the following people, and I would like to thank for their help and contribution. And uh, here's the final slides. Any questions? I'm sorry, this is a very naive question. Um, I don't know the coding theory and the compression theory, but um, do you ever consider using something that's locally decodable? So when you decompress, do you sort of decompress the whole sequence? Or if you're just looking for information that's in certain locations, maybe a locally decodable compression scheme would be useful. Can you comment? Uh, for, for our current setup, we cannot achieve that local decodable. We should decode the sequence from the start to the end to recover all the original sequence, but you have a very good suggestion. Maybe it's our next direction to do some research in the local decodable setup. Thank you. Have you looked at how reversible the lossy compression is based on the number of quality bins that you choose? And are you tuning the number of quality bins? Uh, yes, we, we try to different, uh, we try the different setup of different number of bins and we evaluate the performance on some downstream uh, application, such as to detect the uh, uh, call variants and uh, in some downstream application. And it is not included in this presentation, but we have results in our paper. And so now Illumina is using eight quality bins, is that right? Uh, so our, I think Illumina is, has been testing a reduced number of quality score bins. Yes. And where, how would your algorithm compare to what, what the choice they've made there? Uh, we, we don't have comparison right now, but we, we will start it in the future. Thank you.